Increase the efficacy of your copper spray in the fight against bacterial blight with Antero EA. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine reporting to you here from Oregon. I'm, I'm with Heather Andrews, entomologist with, at Oregon State University. Uh, she works a lot in hazelnuts, and that's what we're talking about today. And sunburn and sun scald, that was something we just talked about, is a problem for especially the younger hazelnut trees. And we've got a lot of those coming in to production here. And there is a difference between sunburn and sun scald, and wanted to talk to you about you know, what the significance of that is. Yeah, so, so sunburn and sun scald are actually not exactly the same thing. Sunburn is the issue that a lot of people are familiar with. And so this is injury that can occur on young hazelnuts, usually during the summertime. And so the sunburn is caused when the trees haven't been hardened off yet. They're not used to direct sun rays and a lot of heat. And so if you plant them out in the orchard and they aren't used to this exposure, they can become damaged. And so there are a few things that we can do to prevent that damage. We can paint the trunks of the trees with white latex paint. And so this will help to keep the trees from receiving those direct sun rays and also deflect some of the heat. You can also use trunk guards. And if you use the trunk guards, you want to be careful to have tall enough trunk guards because if the tree gets some exposure up above the trunk guard, then the light can be reflected and intensified and you can actually get a burn immediately above the trunk guard. So we recommend having those trunk guards come to just beneath the lowest branches of your young trees. And it's also important to note that the white latex paint won't actually protect your trees from herbicide damage. So you still need to be very careful when applying herbicides not to get the trunks of your trees damaged by any herbicides. And so sun scald is caused during the winter time. And so what happens is the tree will get warmed up by the sun and then if a cloud passes in front of the sun or if the sun goes down and there's a very drastic drop in temperature, the tree can be damaged by that cold exposure. And so if the tree becomes sunburned or sun scalded, the damage can look very similar. So both of these types of exposure will cause damage to the cambium of your tree. And if the burn or scald is bad enough, then this can result later on in bark peeling away from the tree. And so if, if this kind of damage does occur, it suddenly makes the tree much more susceptible to diseases getting into the bark. And also it becomes a target for pests such as the Pacific flat-headed boar. So that's a beetle pest that is becoming somewhat prominent in some orchards. It is definitely attracted to stressed young trees. So we really recommend people to try and baby their young trees and prevent sunburn and sun scald as well. Yes, yeah, so there's not too much you can do about the weather, no. but, uh, but you can you know, be sure to take good care of the trees to limit as much stress as possible, have some good trunk guards, you know, like you said. Uh, and, and the paint. So thank you very much. Uh, read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.